All right, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to solve the problem 50 to the power of 50 over 25 to the power of 25. So I wanna find the solution to this problem. So to start, I have 50 to the power of 50 over 25 to the power of 25. And I'm gonna first rewrite this as 50 to the power of 25 plus 25. So now I have 50 to the power of 25 plus 25 over 25 to the power of 25. And the reason I rewrote 50 to the power of 50 as 50 to the power of 25 plus 25 is because now I can use an exponential property that states that if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I would highly recommend that you memorize this because this can be also be used later in math. So 50 to the power of 25 plus 25 using this property turns into 50 to the power of 25 times 50 to the power of 25. And I still have this over 25 to the power of 25. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite this as 50 to the power of 25 times 50 to the power of 25 over 25 to the power of 25. And now I can use another property that states that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So this is equal to 50 to the power of 25 times 50 over 25 to the power of 25. Now, this turns to 50 to the power of 25 times, well, 50 divided by 25 is 2, so times 2 to the power of 25. Now, another property I can use, and which will be the final property of this video, is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So you are basically just factoring out the exponent. So in this case, I have 50 to the power of 25 times 25 to the power of or sorry, times two to the power of 25. And this can be rewritten as 50 times two to the power of 25. Now, 50 times two is 100. So I get 100 to the power of 25. However, I'm not done yet because I'm actually going to simplify this a little more. 100, I can rewrite as 10 squared so I get 10 squared to the power of 25. And if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 25 is going to equal 10 to the power of 2 times 25, which is equal to 10 to the power of 50. So 10 to the power of 50 is my answer to this problem. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, please share this to your friends if you find this interesting. Thank you.